Hey everybody, it's Dan from Mechanical Malarkey. Today I want to talk about the latest airbag recall from Honda. Now if you don't know anything about the airbag recalls that have been going on, for the past several years several manufacturers have been going through several phases of airbag recalls because of faulty inflators made by the Takata company. The problem with these inflators is that the propellant would degrade over time and become overpressurized and basically turn them into shrapnel grenades. Several people have been killed and a lot of people have been injured by these airbags. This recall has affected tens of millions of cars going back for the last almost 20 years. Hondas go back to 2001 Civics is how far back we're doing these airbags on Hondas. But this latest recall is actually not for the same reason. These airbags were made by Takata but it is not a degrading propellant that is causing the recall, it is some sort of manufacturing defect. They haven't said what it is and there aren't any parts available yet because these cars are from 1996 to 2003. So we're talking about cars over 20 years old that we're going to be replacing airbags in. Now I've been a Honda Tech for almost four years now and I've replaced hundreds of airbag inflators. I have no idea how many at this point. And the older a car is, usually the worse shape it is. Most of these early 2000s Civics and Accords that we're replacing inflators in, they sound like the suspension's about to fall apart or the exhaust is hanging off or they're just pieces of junk at this point. So when we start getting cars from 96 in the shop, they're just going to be piles of rust and in really bad shape unless it's somebody who never drove the car. Now I'm all for manufacturers taking responsibilities for defects that can cause safety issues, but I feel like going back to cars 20 years after they were made to fix something that happened way back when they were made is a bit excessive. I think the only reason that this recall is happening at all is because they were airbags made by Takata. And though even though they are not the main problem with Takata airbags with their bad propellant, because they're Takata, they're recalling them anyway. Just because they don't want anything bad happening with anything related to Takata. All they have said is that it's a defect that happened during manufacturing. What that actually means, I have no idea. If it's something that didn't cause a problem until much later, like 20 years after the car was built, then I feel like it's past the lifetime of when you would really be liable for systems still working on a car. Because how many things, how many parts of a car is a company going to replace for free after 20 years of driving and probably over 200,000 miles? Very, very few. Now, airbags didn't really come into common usage until the 90s. They weren't required for both driver and passenger in the US until 96. So basically you're recalling some of the first airbags and way back then how much would they have known about how long these will last, how well they will work in the future. If it was anything other than a safety feature, especially airbags, and it was a newer technology that hadn't been around very long and it wasn't working very well in 20 years, it wouldn't ever get fixed. There's no reason a manufacturer would say we're going to fix this for free, except the fact that it's airbags, specifically airbags made by Takata. Again, I think it's right for manufacturers to solve safety problems. I just feel like 20 to 25 year old cars are past the age where they're liable for anything. Like how many cars that are that old are even still driving? A lot of them have probably rusted out. A manufacturer going to fix a rusted out car for all the rust problems? No. Even though that could be a safety problem, it's not the airbag. So they're not going to do anything about that. Now, even though these recalls that we're currently doing have been around for years, we're still getting cars from the very first recalls from the early 2000s. Partly because so many people don't feel like bringing in their cars because they don't think it's that dangerous and because they can be hard to find cars that are that old and have passed through so many different ownerships. So now with having to do cars even older than that, I feel like it's going to be way harder to get these cars in. 
And like I said, they are going to be in probably even worse shape than the cars we're already dealing with. So what are your thoughts on this? Especially if you're a Honda mechanic or if you're on another manufacturer and they're also doing this recall, what do you think about having to do recalls on 25-year-old cars? I'm not really looking forward to it, but job security, I guess? I'm never going to run out of recalls to do. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. I'm interested to hear what you think. Get a comment on this video or talk to me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you like discussion videos like this, let me know and I'll come up with some more topics. Thanks for watching.